The product family of the Scalance S security modules consists of the types S602, S612 and S613. The mechanical housing design is comparable to that of the X100 and X200 switches. A rugged industrial use housing in S7300 design with degree of protection IP30 allowing flexible installation and high temperature ranges. The possibility to use a redundant power supply. A floating signal contact for the evaluation of error conditions and status and diagnostic LEDs. Scalance S modules have two industrial RJ45 connectors in Fast Connect technology with retaining collar. Port 1 is for connection to the external non-secure network and Port 2 for connection to the internal secure network. If devices have to be exchanged for servicing, the security module can be reconfigured without using a programming device, simply by exchanging the C-plug storage medium. Scalance S modules S612 and S613 have VPN communication via a standard IPsec tunnel for secure authentication of stations, data encoding and decoding, and verification of data integrity. With module S612, up to 32 internal stations can communicate with the outside via a maximum of 64 VPN tunnels. And with module S613, up to 64 internal stations via a maximum of 127 VPN tunnels. Both IP messages and non-IP messages, such as layer 2 messages, can be transmitted through the IPsec tunnel. For flexible access control to an automation cell, the security module allows you to use a firewall as an alternative to or in combination with a VPN tunnel. With a firewall, the number of stations is not limited. The firewall of the security modules S602, S612 and S613 contains packet filters with a stateful inspection which allow to filter both incoming and outgoing data packets by IP or MAC addresses, communication protocols and ports. Since the firewall remembers the status or session to which a data packet belongs, it lets answering packets automatically pass. Non-related packets, for example packets that do not arrive within a specified interval, are discarded. Access monitoring is performed by logging potentially harmful messages in a log file on the security module or at a standard syslog server. Apart from the bridge mode, the firewall of the Scalance S602 can also be operated in router mode. The internal network is disconnected from the external network. The internal nodes can thereby receive their private IP addresses from the integrated DHCP server. The network address translation method NAT enables using private IP addresses in the internally secured network by assigning private IP addresses to public IP addresses via an assignment list. Vice versa, the network address and port translation method NAPT enables addressing an internal private IP address in the secured network via the combination of the gateway address of the Scalance S602 and a communication port. This enables configuring many automation cells with an identical address, saving public company addresses and protecting the internal nodes from direct access from external network. The security modules are configured by a dedicated security configuration tool, which is protected against access and communicates with the security modules via a secure socket layer channel. The VPN connections and firewall rules can be set up without specialist IT knowledge and with a minimum amount of configuration. In advanced mode, even highly complex settings can be made if required.
The Softnet security client is the software package that goes with the hardware and allows a PC or PG to access devices protected by Scalance S modules as a VPN client. The Softnet security client is configured just as easily as the security modules using the security configuration tool. The configuration settings and the required certificates and keys are transmitted from a configuration PC to the workstation from which the secure connection to the security modules will be established. For an application such as Step 7, the access to the protected device via TCP IP is fully transparent. To give you an idea of how easy it is to configure a secure connection, we will now show you the few steps that you need to establish a VPN tunnel. The task is to establish an IPsec tunnel between an automation cell and a PG. In the security configuration tool, the security module S612, which is to protect the whole automation cell with all its devices, and a softnet security client are installed as modules. The next step is to create a group and to add the desired modules to the group by drag and drop. Each group is equivalent to one tunnel connection between the modules contained in the group. After downloading the configuration settings into the security module and export of the configuration data to the PG, the Softnet security client is started and the IPsec tunnel is automatically established. A user can now access an S7 station of the protected automation cell from his PG through a secure tunnel via TCP IP to configure it, run diagnostics or modify a program using, for instance, Step 7.